going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about i know what you did last summer in this video here today we have an unfortunate update pertaining to the upcoming legacy sequel that is supposed to drop in july of 2025 and is looking to kick off shooting sometime later this fall i believe in october or something like that so it is with the unfortunate pleasure i have to disclose according to deadline camila mendez will no longer be starring in the sony reboot of i know what you did last summer now the report goes on to say we understand the riverdale actress could not make the production dates work given her starring role in the upcoming mega amazon mgm studios and mattel films title masters of the universe in which she'll play tila as we previously reported mendez will headline masters of the universe opposite nicholas Galt Galtzine, who plays He-Man. Her character, Tila, is a warrior and the captain of the Eternia's Royal Guard. She's responsible for protecting the royal family, especially Prince Adam, a.k.a. He-Man. Deadline previously reported that Madeline Klein, or Madeline Klein, Sarah Pigeon, Tyreek Withers, and Jonah Har King are set to star in I Know What You Did Last Summer and that Sony was having talks with Jennifer Love Hewitt and Freddie Prince Jr. reprising their roles. Now, when it comes to this news... The reason why it is unfortunate, for one, we never even got to find out who the hell she was going to be playing. And two, I was really excited to see another Riverdale lady in a horror movie. Uh, I stopped watching Riverdale after season one. I did turn it on here and there throughout the rest of its run, but I was not completely hooked in. And at one point, I just completely checked out once I caught wind that they were doing time travel and introducing all of this magical stuff that wasn't present in the first season. It just wasn't believable to me. But one thing I will always say is that Camila did a wonderful job playing the character of Veronica. This was right after high school for me. So when I was watching that show, I did have a crush on the character of Verona, Veronica for a brief moment but Camila was always very good in that role now when it comes to who she could have been starring as in I Know What You Did Last Summer my best bet would have been between the person dying that sets everything into motion for the group of friends she could have been part of the group of friends and is one of the people that dies from that group and the climate influencer who's rumored to be a part of the character list that another character rumored to be named milo has a thing for he has this off and on thing with another character named ava who i think is going to be portrayed by this other cast member madeline so we'll just have to wait and see if we learn anything of what camilla's role would have been and i know what you did last summer now as far as who i could see replacing her i could actually see isabella merced replacing her not that that would be the most ideal thing, but she's been doing a great job, especially after considering what she did in the recent Alien Romulus movie. I wouldn't mind seeing Isabella Merced come in to replace her. That's assuming she even auditioned for this for this movie. One person I know who did audition for I Know What You Did Last Summer is this actress named Danielle Rose, Rose Russell, who I think is from a CW show named The Originals. She might have been in another show called Legacies. I think the originals was also a spinoff to the Vampire Diaries, but I could be wrong. But yeah, Danielle Rose Russell auditioned for this film as well. She was nowhere in the cast announcements when we got the cast news. So maybe Danielle will get a call back. We'll just have to wait and see. I firmly do believe they will find somebody in time before they need to shoot. This might also be why they pushed it back. Because there were reports coming out they were supposed to shoot this summer. There were other reports coming out that they were supposed to start shooting in August, late August. Now it looks like what we're learning now is why they have been pushing the dates. Along with the other reasons, of course, because they're talking to the OG stars they want to get back. Julie, Ray, Brandy's character of Carla who I think, again, is going to be an unnecessary return, just following and logically making conclusions based off of how they've been presenting to us Brandy's involvement and Brandy herself acknowledging her knowledge on the film, meaning that she had she said she had no idea this was even a thing or she didn't know Sony was doing that and she would love to get a call. Next thing you know, the director's following her. They're supposed to be having some sort of meetings. Hopefully we get some update on that. It's really unfortunate we're not going to see Camilla in the project, though, but I'd be willing to bet she was either going to play a small role that was still significant like the person dying that sets off the chain of events or she was going to be playing this climate influencer that 
one of the other male characters had a crush on or had a thing for. Those are just my two guesses based off of what I already know about the project. But what do you guys think she would have been doing in I Know What You Did Last Summer? What do you think about possibly seeing Isabella Merced coming in as a potential replacement? Do you think that would be a good fit? Who would you like to see come in in her place? What do you think about the disclosure that I've now put out there about the fact that Danielle Rose Russell, who is from, C I think she's from like, again, two CW shows, Legacies and the originals, which I think is a spinoff to the Vampire Diaries. What do you think about her possibly coming in? Because I know 100% she did audition. So if she gets called back in for a different role, don't be surprised because she did audition. That's all I'm saying. But again, let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. I wish we would have gotten to see Camilla. I was looking forward to it. I did also get a lot of messages from you guys. I am on the fence about watching the movie right now. I'm still going to watch it, but it's just like that was that was soul crushing a bit because I was looking forward to seeing her in this movie. She's done a wonderful job in all the things I saw her in, and I just wanted to see her become another one of the River, Riverdale girls to step foot into the horror genre. Those three girls on Riverdale, Veronica, Betty, and what was the other girl's name? Cheryl? Yeah, it would have been nice to see all of them start to step into horror slowly. We already got Cheryl. We needed Betty. I don't think Betty has done a horror movie yet. And it was going to be nice to see Veronica. But she'll get to do a horror movie at some point. Something that, of course, is a little bit more mainstream like I Know What You Did Last Summer is. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you have already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can name this video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know any movies, news, or reviews you want me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.